Yeah, I want to go over a little bit on his magnetic pulse uh, therapy. And, um, you know, in your body units, I'm going to say, this is like one that's from, uh, it's called Dr. Clark Mag Zapper, correct? And actually, I put a piece of black tape, because this is the side I don't want to use, which is the south side. Um, now, this is adjustable. I kind of went over in another video. It's supposed to put out about six gauss maximum, and that's what I use it on. Uh, there's a lot of different, there's different effects as far as using the south side and the north side of this magnetic pulsar. They're opposite effects. And uh, I actually have a book coming. It's This is actually something you can't really find out when you buy these units. Because if you have any kind of claim made when you're uh, selling these units about medical use, or if anybody makes a testimony that, you know, does something, you know, the FDA is going to come down on them. But quite obviously, there's something going on here, you know, in my mind, that there's some kind of use for it that's beneficial. So, I had to look up, and, you know, I have a book coming, which is called uh, The Magnetic Effect. And it's put out by Rawls and Davis. And it's only a 125-page used paperback. I can't find it anywhere. It's $63. You know, used paperback is usually like, you know, five, ten bucks. Um, but I did find out something like, I looked at what Soda Instruments said um, to use the north side on your device. And I would probably venture to say that Soda Instruments device may outlast this one. I might. I don't know whose claims are right, to tell you the truth. I mean, they say this one's superior, but then again, I'm not really sure, you know. Um, the one advantage of this is that you can turn the device down a little bit. So if you want to use this on pets like cats and dogs, you might not want to have it up to the, you don't, you don't need to have 6,000 gauss. 2,400 gauss would be enough. Um, and then it would pulse every second at the lowest setting. So you might that's one advantage to it. But I would recommend it probably to get most longevity out of this. Let it cool down between uses for maybe 15, 20 minutes or so. And... Uh, you know, if you're constantly running it, I'd imagine that's going to be the problem. Just a little common sense that that could bring down the life of the unit. Um, now, the north is the side you want to actually put towards the body. Now, I'm just going to go over like what I saw as an abbreviation, what's in that book. Has a counterclockwise rotation inhibits, right? That's what it's, a couple key words. Relieves pain, north side, north side. Reduces inflammation produces an alkaline effect. Now you know what the alkaline effect actually is something that is hinders cancer, correct? I mean it's not really uh, a theory, it's a fact, you know, the alkalizing effect does hinder cancer. So they claim this has an alkalizing effect from the north side. The south side is the opposite effect. It actually is acidic, okay? Uh, the north side reduces symptoms, fights infections, supports healing, reduces fluid and retention, increases cellular oxygen, I'm just reading it right off of here, encourages restoration, deep sleep, whereas the south, the opposite side stimulates wakefulness. In other words, they'll say the south side stimulates, it also stimulates, but if you know, say you have a flu virus or bacteria or something or cancer, it could stimulate that. So that's why you don't want to use the south side. I imagine there's a couple, just taking a little bit of a guess off the top of my head, if it stimulates and you're trying to regenerate tissue for say a severe injury or something, um, where it's actually a regenerative effect, then you would probably use the south side. But it seems like 99% of the time, be north side, north side, and the only specialized situations would use the south side. Also, this north side produces a bright mental effect, reduces fatty deposits, whereas the south side encourages fatty deposits. So, I don't know if this lets you lose weight or whatever, but, you know, that's what it's stating on here. Uh, it has an alkalizing effect and uh, stimulates melatonin function which is the south, the, the north side. The north side does all that. Now, I have read a number of books by, well, a couple of books, actually, two books, by Robert, Dr. Robert Otto Becker. 
uh, MD, not to be confused with Dr. Bob Beck, PhD. Um, in his books, he goes on to like, this is not with the magnets, but he had some controversial work back he did in the 70s and basically it was defunded. But he wrote the book, The Body Electric, in 1980. It does seem that there is a number of healing ways that you can get along with. See, in other words, when this thing is actually producing a pulse, it's producing some type of electricity. That's what's going on. And healing actually can be promoted through electricity. Now, Dr. Robert Otto Beck, Becker, uh, MD, he actually was able to regenerate limbs and rats by using uh, certain electrodes where he put them on a sever. It had to be a very clean sever. And above the sever, he would use the positive silver electrode. Below the sever, he would use a negative platinum electrode. And it was like one nanoamp, which is like very, very minute, and a certain frequency. And then the limb would grow back, the femur would grow back, you know, the knuckle would grow, the uh, knee joint would grow back, and the tibula, fibula, whatever's on a rat, and the ankle would all grow back. Um, but if you would switch the other way, it would promote healing a lot faster, healing a lot faster. But it wouldn't grow back. If you switch the electrodes, you put the uh, negative um, platinum electrode on the, above the cut and the uh, silver positive uh, electrode right at the cut, it would heal fast and scab over fast. The opposite effect. So maybe that's something to lay along the lines of what's going on here because the south side says stimulates, stimulates growth. But that could be a very bad thing in most cases. So you don't want to use the south side in almost all cases. Actually, I put a tape over here so I could very easily distinguish it and actually you know, feel it if I just picked it up. That this side, I want to have it away from the body. And this side, the north side, is towards the body. But the north side has an alkalizing effect, increases cellular oxygen, reduces fatty deposits, establishes healing polarity, and normalizes alkaline pH, reduces pain, reduces inflammation. So the south, uh, the south positive increases pain, increases inf inflammation, produces an acidic effect. But in certain cases, you might want this stimulation for some type of regeneration or growth. That's a possibility. But at least 99% of the time, you want to use the north side on this. So, I just want to be clear on this a little bit. Um, also, another book I have read by um, Healing Macular Degeneration with uh, Dr. Robert Becker. They used uh, a TENS unit. This is all microelectricity around the eyes, right, right around here. Like you'd have it on different sides of the eyes. TENS unit. Very low. Not, not something that was painful, like you wouldn't even feel it. It would be over here, like the acupuncture points around the eyes. And somebody who had macular degeneration, it helped restore the vision. Along with supportive nutrition, which would be lutein, xanathin, and bilberry, and just, you know, general good nutrition. But certain things like lutein for the eyes specifically. But by using microelectricity uh, around the eyes with a TENS unit, you'd actually uh, stimulate and cause macular degener degeneration to be reversed. And, you know, these works are very, very controversial, but, you know, I think these guys, like, would put out this kind of information, were just hammered by the established medical community. And a lot of times you'll find this. You'll find this in a lot of different areas. It could even be in archaeology. It could be in religion. People have a uh, entrenched area that they're in, and they don't like being threatened. And that could actually threaten a lot of different things because, you know, People are making a lot of money off of certain other procedures. So, but I do want to recommend if you try this, use the north side, and that's the reason. Relieves pain, reduces inflammation, produces alkaline effect, fights infection, supports healing, uh, reduces fatty deposits, produces a bright mental effect. The south side does have some uses, and that's usually to uh, stimulate growth. So, but in a lot of cases, you're not going to be doing that. So, just want to update on that and make that clear because uh, I was having a tough time trying to find information out about 
what these magnetic pulsers do exactly. Um, I heard a lot of good feedback from people that said, you know, they, they produced a lot of wonders to them. They did a lot of different things. So in other words, the alkalizing effect, as you know, cancer can't really live in an alkalizing environment. So I would think this has an effect on it. I would think it has an effect on it. Now maybe, uh, you know, I would experiment with this. If I was just somebody who was a cancer patient, I would experiment with this. It's not that much money. This one's 334. The soda instruments uh, is 400. Probably better off with the soda instruments device though. And now that I've read a little deeper into it. But um, the other thing is, um, you're not going to find detailed information out of it. I do have a book coming by Rawls and Davis. Fairly expen is expensive for a paperback used. $63. And I couldn't find anything even cheaper than that. Some places they're selling it for two or $300. It's only a 125-page book. But it probably has a wealth of information in it. So this is stuff that actually goes back to the ancients. And uh, the positive and negative effects on... Um, the body, like in other words, south is positive, danger, north is negative, healing energy. That's basically how that works in, in its simple terms. But there are certain instances you would use the south side, but generally for everybody, always use the north side, the healing side. But uh, just want to give an update on that. And uh, I'm going to try to dig into a lot more of what this does and put some more videos out on it because it's highly interesting. And it seems like it could promote health in a great fashion, very simply, non-invasive, because when you're putting this on your body, it's just the outside, it goes through clothes, everything else. And uh, no pain involved. And uh, you can do this, you know, while you're sleeping, you know, just, you know, pretty much. So it's very simple.